Hey guys, welcome back to part two of our holiday slash herp trip. Uh, yeah, stick around and enjoy the video. Welcome to Beaches Scaly Beasts, where I focus on the natural keeping of herptofauna and marine aquaria. So Danny and I had a little bit of a sleep in this morning. Uh, we spent a long time out West McDonald Ranges last night and came up with absolutely nothing. Well, we did get a couple of gecko species. We found a pale-headed gecko. So the one that I thought was a velvet is in fact not a velvet. It's a little bit hard to get a uh, accurate idea on something that's running away for you in a couple of seconds, but that's okay. Um, and we got a couple of gyres as well, which was pretty cool. Um, but we got nothing else. We went out there looking for Centralian knobtail geckos. So we will be going out there again tomorrow night with hopefully a little bit more luck. Tomorrow's supposed to be a little bit warmer. I think it's supposed to be getting to about 38 degrees here. Um, but yeah, we went out and we just thought, you know, today we'll just go and explore the East McDonald Ranges. So we went out that way and as we we're kind of heading back on, back in, no, on the way out, we ended up finding a um, dead on road Mulga snake, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, and on the way back in, we actually ended up finding a dead on road Centralian blue tongue. So that kind of got my, my juices thinking a little bit in my old noggin up here. And uh, tonight we're gonna have an early dinner and go out for a little bit of road cruising to hopefully see on dusk to see if anything kind of comes out to those roads because they're a little bit closer to home where we are here at the moment than what the West McDonald Ranges are. So we'll save all our big driving again at West McDonald Ranges tomorrow. So. Yeah, we're gonna do that tonight and then maybe tomorrow we might go and check out the desert park and stuff while we're here. Um, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully you find some herbs. There's a fresh head of leopard here. Potentially a mulga. It's in the middle of the road, so I'm gonna get off here. I'm not very good with the leopards, so no idea what this is. If anybody else wants to comment, please let me know what it is. Would've been nicer to see it when it was, uh, alive but yeah it looks like it's been clipped this morning there's a couple of serious big macs out here almost ran him over it's just out in the middle of nowhere Well, that is definitely not how I wanted to see my first Centralian Bluey. I thought it would be an odd time to see him out, but I just noticed this as we were driving down. We got Danny to pull the car around. Poor little fella must have been out on the road this morning sometime just for a quick bask and being clipped. But yeah, we're out in the East McDonald Ranges now, so it's kind of interesting being able to see them out here. Yeah, poor little thing. It's a bit of a waste. I don't know if it's actually been clipped by a car or if it's just had its head pecked or what the go is but yeah 
bit of a shame to see this guy dead on the road. Hopefully we get a live one on this trip, that'd be fantastic. Just gone on to dusk, hunting around for some stroughs. Found this little guy in a tree here. A little long nosed dragon. Pretty little fella. That's for sure. Not the lizard I was looking for, but cool nonetheless. So whilst it's not the most exciting reptile up here, because there are a few of them getting around, it was cool to be able to actually get to have a look at one a little bit closer. This is a warm morning already. It's about 27, 7.30 a.m. thereabouts. I've just been stopping at trees this morning, doing a bit of a solo run, looking for Gillen's monitors, and out cruising this road. The same one that I found the dead on road, Centralian Bluey. But still not turning up much luck, unfortunately. We'll see how we go. There's millions of grasshoppers around. It's pretty cool to see. Yeah, some of these trees are just so gnarly. But yeah. It's starting to warm up. The plans for today, I'll pretty much just have a bit of a chilled day and save our energy. And then tonight, or later this afternoon, we're gonna slowly drive out towards Ormiston Gorge and stop at a few places along the way. And then from there, we're gonna do a bit of road cruising as the sun goes down. It should hopefully turn up some stuff. We're getting a shower at the, uh, the nature park. It's come on for all the birds and now we're in amongst it. Oh, it's so it's nice amazing. and cool. <laughs> considering it's what, 38 or something now. Um.
So we've just been enjoying the desert park here in Alice Springs. It's pretty warm. I don't know if you can make it out behind me, but there's some storm clouds rolling in, so hopefully we'll get a little bit of rain tonight and find some critters. But for now, we'll probably just enjoy the rest of this, go for a quick swim, and uh, head back out on the road. for tonight is to find the Centralia knobtail gecko. We think we found a pretty perfect spot for them, just this kind of rocky wall to walk along. Hopefully once it's a little bit darker we get to see a couple. If not we might just cruise around here for the next half hour or so and then uh, get back on the road and do a bit of road cruising. There is actually a storm that's rolling through too, so that may or may not play into our advantage. We'll have to see how we go. So I'm finally really stoked, guys, because I finally got a cool herp, and I'm really stoked with this one too. This is Nepherus amie, probably my favorite knobtail gecko that's out there. Being able to see these guys in the wild is absolutely fantastic. Look at the patterns and the tubicles and stuff on this guy. It's a little boy, so he might've been out cruising, looking for a feed, looking for a girl. And we managed to just road cruise him. We just actually spent like probably half an hour off the road just at a particular site that we thought was pretty good. It looked pretty similar to where we kind of found him in that sense. But yeah, I'm so stoked to finally get a really cool reptile. Hopefully I can get a couple of good photos with my camera as well, and a bit of footage as well of him running away out into the bush here. But how cool is this reptile? So these guys, they are knobtail geckos. They live in really rocky outcrops. They're absolutely monsters like the females get up to about 60 grams i remember having them in captivity and the females would be bigger than some of the rats that i was feeding some of my animals they were that big but they're absolute whoppers this is a pretty typical size for an adult male the eyes on them are just gorgeous they're definitely one of those gecko species that i'd love to get back into you know it's one of those animals that i regretted selling for so long yeah it's one of those animals that man to see them in their natural habitat and having kept them in you know in captivity it's just, it puts it on a whole new ballpark. Like this is just fantastic. Hopefully we'll get a couple more tonight. He just looked like a little brock just running across the side of the road. So I'm absolutely, <laughs> I'm so psyched to finally find a really, really cool reptile. But yeah, as I said, we might, uh, might muck around with him a bit on this embankment here. See if I can get a couple of good photos with the camera if he wants to cooperate. All right, here we go. We'll let him off the side of the road here. This is the direction that he was running. 
how sick is that gecko? They're Australia's heaviest body gecko. I don't know if I mentioned that before. These guys whop in at a big female, about 60 odd grams. Man, seeing these guys in the natural habitat and I was just taking a few photos of him and he just bolted straight up this escarpment here. No issues whatsoever with those little legs. We'll leave him here. I've got some awesome shots. I'm not going to complain about it and I don't want to overstay my welcome. But that was definitely so far the herp highlight of the trip. That's for sure. Hopefully we get some, some more animals tonight. I've got a good feeling about this. we can't complain too much we did get another cool herp well at least a cool herp by me we got a little stimmy and it looks like it's had a feed and it's a little bit of a firecracker it's taking a few shots at me he's just cruising over the middle of the road i had to kind of give it a bit of a swerve so we didn't actually crush the hell out of him but luckily we were only going about 25 30k an hour check out the bending on him he's a beautiful little animal oh this is another animal that i definitely wanted to see so you know, to tick off at least two species in one night was absolutely awesome. What a gorgeous little critter, hey? Beautiful. You know, everyone says these guys are pretty common out here, so, you know, I thought our chances of seeing one would be pretty good. Might see if I can get a couple of nice little photos of this guy. Put him somewhere a little bit nicer and off the road anyway, just so he doesn't get clipped. Or put him off the direction he was heading. Well, there we go. Got him off the road. Got a couple of pickies. See you later, mate. Thank you for the bites and uh, enjoy your meal.